Hello, hello. Nobody's here yet, but that's okay. Gives me a chance to try and get set up. Welcome. If you are new to my channel, this is a recorded live stream where it will be recorded and I will later. I am happy to have anybody hang out with me while I play around. I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, which is basically start from scratch on the screen. And that's not something I do a lot of. But uh, first, I'm going to do some sorting of some papers and figure out what I might want to use. I want to cover some little notebooks. I have a lot of notebooks. Um, I have a huge stash of these little, let's see, I can show you. I have a huge stash of these notebooks that I had picked up for a few few different reasons. Hey, Mary. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, although I'm, I'm venturing into unusual territory for me. I don't normally do stuff without a plan on a stream, so this is going to be kind of, um, <laughs> kind of nerve-wracking for me. Thank you. I, I really enjoy doing the eco prints and looking forward to some summer weather so I can do some more. And I just, I really like the way this, I, I kind of, I wish that this was not quite as wide as it was, but other than that, I really like the way this one came out. And that was just one of these little, you know, dollar store, you get like three for a dollar, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as long as you guys are okay with me talking through this while I try and even figure out, I was going to try and sort all this last night and I just didn't have the energy. I'm sure I'm not the only one whose energy is kind of um, flagging lately. All right, these are, what I'm looking for is normally I do a lot of test prints in this size and that turns out to be a really good size for this and it's a little small for that but I can do a backing and I could have sworn I had a whole bunch of those but I guess I don't I love these this is my newest fern kit so and these look smaller no, nope, they're the same size, but they're not quite as... They'd be good backings. They're just not as on their own. Yeah, that was it, too, some company. And honestly, last night I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm not going to go live. Maybe I'm just going to, you know, let the week pass. Um, but I talked myself out of it this morning. Okay, these are too small. Although, I could... That's still kind of small. Okay, so we're not going to worry about these guys. Get some of them out of the way, at least. And I don't want to cut a bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need. Definitely want to do the ferns. And how is everybody doing? Are they sufficiently stocked up at home? We're, we're doing well here. I'd like to do a little mermaid one, but I don't know if I have the right sizes. I need two. These are some, a lot of these are my test prints that didn't, when I was working on the designs, things didn't quite work out. Let's see. Some more mermaid stuff. This one's too big. We'll save those for maybe backings. You look forward to it, Mary? It makes me feel good. Thank you. Yeah, I figure this is one commitment I can really try to work and, and stick with. So if the going this way, I don't know, those are kind of dark to do on a notebook, huh? Maybe this one. Let's see what we can come up with. It may just be a few of us here, but <laughs> thank you. Ah, there we go. I was looking for these guys. All right, we know this is a good size because I'd used that one before. Maybe, you know, maybe I don't need to be quite as ambitious as I am in my head. 
Now that one's even bigger. So these guys bigger. Ah, I don't know what I did. All right. All right. Just dive in, right? Just dive in. Let's say we'll do these guys and these guys. And I would really like to do one mermaid one. Um, well, you know what? Those will be fine on their own like that. Okay. All right. Let's stay with those for now. And so what I did, my inspiration for this was Tracy Fox about a year or so ago did a series of uh, three covering notebooks things. And so I kind of followed the idea on this one, which I really liked the way this one came out around the edges here. So, but of course I didn't make a template because that would have made sense, right? To make a template. Um, all right, let's just cut these guys out. And these guys might work on the larger one because they've got, all right. I did remember, I tried to remember to bring some stuff from the studio over here. It's always hard. You never know exactly what you might need at your desk. So trying to bring things over to, to be ready ahead of time. I just wanted to do something that wasn't just gluing because it seems like that's all I've been doing lately on the lives is gluing and Hi, Tammy. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Lala, hello. Shelly, hi. Lovely to see everybody here. I am kind of fumbling in the dark, so we will see what happens. We are going to be optimistic that something um, good is going to happen at the end of this. I don't know. We will see. This will either encourage me to do more of this kind of crazy stuff, on screen or tell me in the future to make sure I always have a plan ahead of time. I've been doing a lot of gluing. My goal has been to use up um, the last of the Mod Pod, I've got one jar left, and I had tons of napkin scraps, so I've been gluing them to pages, uh, and then I will spritz some color over them, and I was trying to figure out how I could do that, but I really need to find a big box that I can use for a spray booth so I don't spray all over my pretty desk here. And I can't walk through the garage right now, so. Hey, Joey, how you doing? So we are just, we are prepping. That's what we're doing. We're prepping. Worst case scenario, I'll get a lot of stuff prepped, right? I did remember to bring my ink. I got the sewing machine set up so I can sew. That's what I was going to do is all the book page stuff that I had glued down. I had the sheer material and the inside covers ready. And I thought I just didn't want to spend a whole live just sewing. I mean, I know I could. And you guys would be superior and the inside covers ready. And I thought I just didn't want to spend a whole live just sewing. I mean, I know I could. And you guys would be supportive and. Maybe I'll come back another day and do that, but it probably would have gone faster with scissors, but it would not have been nearly as straight. That much I can guarantee. Oh, thank you, Lala. I appreciate you sharing it. All right, let's get these guys out of the way. This one's harder because there's no real line. You just kind of guess, but... Yeah, so if I do that, well, so look at, I said how straight it was going to be. Look at how crooked that is. That's horrible. What was I thinking? I must have twisted it when I had it down there. There we go. That's better. But now, of course, it's not even. Do you ever do that? And then by the time you're done, <laughs> everything has gotten a lot smaller because you keep evening it, evening it off. Uh, looks a little better. And let's make this one a little better. So if I put that on this, it's definitely going to need some kind of a backing. So now we need to go back to my papers. <clears throat> and let's see. These guys aren't going to be big enough. Okay, I didn't think this one through. Let's look at my folders. Hi, Terry. How are you doing today? 
remembered my water. I did better after last week's live. I did some throat coat tea and uh, recovered a little bit faster. I don't think I have any blues in here. Hmm. Some mermaid look on that, maybe. Well, drats. These are all the greens. All right. <clears throat> so much for that idea. Let's see. We have some paper, maybe that's kind of beige. You're still working on an herbal series. Nice. Joey, you've got something fun coming up with your positivity stuff. Do you want to tell about that? All right, that'll be okay. All right, so we can do, let's pick two mermaids. One, two, three, four. Oh. It'll be another one of those where you wish your desk was so much bigger than it actually is. All right. We can trace for this. Oh dear, did I remember a pencil that actually has a point? I maybe didn't. Uh, let's see. It'll have to be a pin. All right. I'm just gonna. Fold it in half so I can such a great idea right now. Positivity junk journal. Cannot have enough of those, I don't think. And what did I probably not cut enough off, right? You guys saw me doing it. Nobody yelled. Oh well, it's gonna be covered by some fabric. And it'll be fine. It will be fine. We will make it so. There isn't anything we can't cover up with fabric and lace, right? And make better. All right. So if we have this and then ink around the edges on that. Yeah, we can make that one work. I might even cut that down a little more. All right. That'll be... Mermaid. Okay. Now, you know what? I think I'm going to grab my scissors. Yeah, I'm going to try. I, I have a little journal that I want to make. Um, shoot. I had it right handy here. I have a little, one of my little uh, book text ones. Dang, I don't know what I did with it. I just had it just a couple minutes ago. And uh, I was thinking I might try and make that up and just add some quotes and be a part of it all. Uh, I don't know if this is better or worse. This might be worse. This might be a lot worse. But I do love these. And they're going to need a backing too, aren't they? These are some ferns over my eco prints. Hmm. All right. Nope. We want, to, we want the cutter. I'm sorry. I should have cut these things ahead of time. Should have gotten that part prepped ahead of time. But let's cut these down a little bit. Not a lot. But, oh, because I want to be able to sew around them too. Yeah, I don't have a scan and cut. So far, I have resisted the urge to buy one because I don't know that I would use it enough. But I may have to rethink that. All right, this needs to be a little shorter, too. 
I do that and I want to have room to stitch around there, this part doesn't matter. Hmm. See, this is why I don't do a lot of these things live. I want to do the fern. I'm going to cut a little off the bottom so that that's even there. And then we're going to cut a little bit off this. No, we're not going to cut the sides. But we are going to trim just a tiny bit off of here. Just a hair. Hey, Lorna. Yeah, that's the one thing that gets me kind of thinking about maybe that I might want one because I could use it on a lot of different materials. And if I could use it to cut material, that would be great. All right, let's see. Well, that was silly. Do you ever find that stuff that you do without even thinking when you're not, when you don't have the camera on suddenly it was like probably trying to tie your shoes on camera would be like, Oh no, I don't know how to do that anymore. I've forgotten. Hearts on banners. Oh, that's nice. Are any of your neighborhoods doing the bear hunt? They just started talking about that over here and they were going to do a, um, I saw in our next door group, they're going to do a neighborhood howl, but we're all so spread apart that I don't know that our howling would carry very far. We'll see. So I tell myself that even if I don't get very far on these, anything that I do is progress because I wanted to, I've, I've got so many of these to cover and maybe I'll figure out some shortcuts. All right, so I've got one, two, I'm going to need more backings, which I did bring more material. Um, if I wanted to do another little one yeah that's just enough and then I can use my corner rounder on it yeah I feel all thumbs like like oh my goodness like I forgot and had it of course I usually use my great big paper cutter so um, could I use a scanning cut to cut material would that work because boy if I could just have like a template for some of my fabric journal stuff it would be worth it to me to buy one just to have it cut all my, my template things like that. Oh, what am I going to do with the notebooks? I'm just covering them just so that they don't look like the funky little dollar store ones. This was one I did my first experiment. So it's still the same notebook. I just put a cover on it, make it a little prettier, and then I can tuck them in when I start doing orders again or I don't know. But at least I won't be looking at them like that. You can use the scan and cut on fabric. Doggone it. Now you might have me convinced, Liz. So I could make like a template for all my journals and cut all my fabric that way and not have to deal with the rotary cutter, which I just did. I use this size on this. And it's not quite. There's still a little bit showing, so that's why I use some back. Oh, Liz, now I'm going to be watching. Oh, Liz, now I'm going to be watching sales, huh? Well, maybe I tell myself that my Etsy sales between now and my birthday, which isn't until July, I'll see if I can save up enough for a scan and cut. Yeah, it's the fabric thing that was getting me because I would like to just cut a bunch of fabric into certain journal, even packs, if I could make a template for a, um, like fat quarters. Do I have to prep the fabric with anything other than just having it iron? Does it have to be prepped? How would you how would you do the fabric? Does it just sit on a tray? Convince me. Help me be convinced. I'm not going to take much to convince me, but help me get convinced here. I'm not going to cut everything. I just want to use prep so then when I go to the next stages we can do like a mini assembly line. 
But I'm sorry, I didn't get all these things cut out ahead of time. All right, so that would give me two of the eco prints. Let's might as well do the other ferns. A mat, Mary? So you just put it on a special mat and send it through. Oh my goodness. Be still my heart, huh? So what's the scan and cut running for now? Three, four hundred dollars more. I looked at them, looked at some version of them years ago when not years ago, but I guess a couple years ago, a while back, when I saw um, Julie Balzer, Balzer, however you say her name. Uh, was getting into it and I thought wow that's probably more than I need but now I'm thinking hmm if it'll cut my fabric for me it sits on a sticky mat no I don't have a circuit or I have zero in the way of die cutting or any kind of cutting machine so if I was going to buy one, is the scan and cut the one? If I was going to buy one, to me, it would be most useful if it also cut fabric. I don't use dies. I have two embossing folders, and I've been just playing around with doing those by hand. It's mostly the cutting that I would want to do. And, I mean, you said that the scan and cut would cut this kind of stuff for me. So if I had something like this with the lines, the scan and cut would cut that. Because if that's the case, wow. All right, what do I need? I need some more backings. Let's see if we can cut two of these, at a, several of these at a time. Ah. Okay. So we're going to be really lazy here. Hey there, Victoria. How are you? Happy to see you here. I'm trying to find some crafting mojo. The verdict is still out at the moment. I'm going to be working on some, covering some little notebooks. Ah! And we have been discussing a scanning cut and whether or not I need to invest in one. And it sounds like I might need to do that. I might need to be putting that on my, my radar. All right. Hi, Patsy. Welcome. Circuit maker, you think, over a Scan and Pro? So I don't know the difference. Yeah, Victoria, I've just been doing a lot of gluing, which I figured is kind of boring to keep watching. So I, I'm really pushing myself today to do things. Um, on camera that normally I would be experimenting with off camera. So we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. I'm not sure. All right. That works for the bigger ones. Now I need some backings for the little guys. Really, this all makes sense in my head, guys. Absolutely perfect sense in my head. <laughs> Does that count? Does that count at all? All right, I got a rounder that'll do that. I just need to make it the right size. So scan and cut or circuit maker. So that's, I don't understand the difference. You know, I think that's kind of where I stopped the research is I was looking and it was like, I don't understand how there's so many machines, even from the same company, and what the difference is. So if I want to cut out my digis that I'm making and I want to cut fabric, what do I need? What What is it I should be looking at? That's what I need to know. Whoops, forgot where my mark was. Okay, yeah. Cricket, okay, cricket. So Cricut versus Scan and Cut. Talk to me, Liz. Are they the same thing? Are they different? What's the difference between them? 
Patty, you are not the or Patsy, you are not the only one in a slump. I think we all are. I think the the goings on in the world is is taking a lot of our creative energy. And uh, I think the most important thing we can do right now is just be kind to ourselves. Please don't feel like you have to do something. Um, obviously, you've got to eat. You've got to feed your family if that's your responsibility. But after that, you know, be kind to yourself. I like the feel of these. this little one here. So I want to do some more of these guys. You've been in a slump since July, Lorna. <laughs> I don't know. You've been pumping out those PNG files pretty fast. I am kind of forcing myself to do this today because I haven't made any journals in a while. And I've got the ideas for the stuff that I want to work on. But I, um, I'm just not there yet. So I thought, well, maybe this will help me kind of get a little bit more into the mood. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got two of these, two of these. And I've got two of these and two of these. And then for the big guys, we've got, okay, that's one, two, uh-oh. How did it, what did I do there? Well, that's interesting. I'm not quite sure how I managed to, unless there's three there. Ah, okay. And there's that, 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 and let's see what we can do for the mermaid. Is there enough to do? There is, there's enough to do a mermaid one. Okay, that'll give us five. If I get through five, that would be amazing. All right, uh, and the mermaid's going to go on a bigger one. So Cricut, you can design on the computer and cut out. Scan and cut will scan what is printed on paper or from a template on your computer. Ah. Yes, Patsy, these are all my prints my eco prints that I've done and other kinds of prints and I do so many test cases before it's a kit that's ready for the shop that I have just tons and tons of test prints and while I am going to put some in the flow flow books okay and so here here's an something for discussion you guys know I've been working on those what I'm calling them flow journals for a while and I'm actually close to starting to put them together but I'm thinking maybe it would be easier if I sent them flat and make them more like a journal kit rather than folding the pages. I would send everything flat so people could decide they might want to not use the pages as pages in a journal. They might want to cut them to different sizes and things. And then I think they would actually ship a little easier flat. So both the Cricut and the Silhouette could cut fabric for me, but the Cricut is the one that I would have to design in the computer or you could like, I could have, um, if I'm designing a Digi in Procreate, I could then import that over to the, to the Cricut and it will scan it and cut it. Oh, wait a minute. Design on the computer and cut it. Scan and cut will print what is on paper and cut or... You're only hearing every other word. Wow. Anybody else having any issues hearing things? Oh, my brain's going to explode trying to figure out what to use. I have no idea, people. No idea. Okay, we're going to call that good. Let's see what we can come up with here. So we've got need a few notebooks. I think we need, okay. So oh, I like that one. I think I like those two for the all right, we are going to hmm. 
Maybe I will just cut down the center part. You have both. You don't use fabric. You use the skin and cut the most. Oh. See, and I'm not doing much fussy cutting because I'm, uh, I'm trying to, I'm actually going to be selling off a bunch of the fussy cut stuff so that I can kind of move in a different direction, but I would love to be able to cut fabric. So that's what I guess I'll keep in mind as I'm researching is what's going to work best for fabric. So these mermaids are from my mermaid kit, which I do want to do a mermaid journal, but like I said, I have not had complete journal mojo lately. We're having kind of a windy spring here in California. Um, they say we're supposed to have some rain again this weekend, but I don't know. They promised us rain last weekend, and we didn't even get enough to really get the the rain gauge wet. We could use more though. I would like to get the ground as saturated as we can before the fire season hits. All right, these guys will stay square. And that means, let's figure the ferns out. Ah, these things go flying. And then we will get things stitched down. It's a couple two extra that we don't need. If I can just kind of get a semi idea of how to do these, I should be able to whip more of them off out when I'm not on camera. These guys, these guys. I wouldn't mind being out working in the garden and stuff, but I'm on some new medication that says to be careful of the sun. So now that we're getting the nice warm weather and I've got to be careful about being outside, which kind of stinks. All right, this is definitely too wide. And I know with my scissors, there's no way I'm going to cut that even remotely straight. So what part do I want to lose? I guess part of that one... part of this. Ah! And then I say that and that is Susan Mangles the ferns and I know that's the only printout of the ferns that I have. So frustrating. I should have stuck with the scissors, huh? not perfect but that's going to be hidden okay so then these guys will be okay and these guys need a little bit more room just a little bit off of here Okay, I think that does that. Let's see. So those guys can just be sewn on without any adjustments. These guys can be sewn on without any adjustments. These guys can be sewn on. These guys, as I recall, I did the corner rounding first. All right, where's my... Rounder. You can actually see the text a little better today, even though I'm not using my 
new glasses. All right, so I need to cut more off of these guys. Just a little. See, this is why <laughs> I don't normally do this kind of stuff on camera because I just don't think it all through. All right, we want to take off a chunk. run out of stuff to edit I have so many kits in various stages that I really want to finish but and a couple that I promised to gals on the design team and I just haven't gotten there yet like everybody else my energy is kind of gone so a smidge we need to cut a smidge that's an exact measurement right All right, we will make this work. Okay, now we're going to cut the corners. Okay, now we make some noise. Well, maybe I should do some distressing first. That's what I should do. I should distress these things first. <laughs> you love watching me figure it out as I'm going da da da. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lorna, it's I, I could I mean I need quiet when I'm working on kits. I don't know about you, so I need to Oh man, this thing my thing must not be sealing well because I just filled this up with ink the other day and it's not wanting to, huh. I need quiet though when I work on kits. So I need to work on them while my husband's working because he's in his office. So, you know, while it's not like silent, it's okay. It's, it's the kind of quiet I need. But I can't work on kits when the TV's on in the evenings. I've learned that about me. Um, I can do some stuff, but lately it's like when the TV goes on, I can't, I can only do one thing at a time. So then I just sit there and we veg out and watch TV for a few hours. We've been um, looking for old shows that we hadn't seen before. So we hadn't seen The Resident. So we've been watching that. And so then, you know, the TV goes off like around 10 and my husband goes back in his office to relax playing a game. And by that time, I'm just like ready to curl up on the couch and read. So I usually do that. And then I'm not one of these people that jumps out of bed and is instantly awake in the morning. So I don't get right to work in the mornings, which is bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. What phrase are you going to steal? Oh, your house is quiet, Lorna? Nice. What did I miss? What did Lala say that you're going to steal? Oh, your head is the land, <clears throat> land of ideas. Yes, Liz. Yeah, my trouble is there's so many ideas. It, it is hard to focus on what, like I'm working on a Dragonfly kit because one of the gals on my team asked for that. So I want to get that one done. I've got some more vintage photos that I just fell in love with that, um, the kit is actually ready. I've just got to get the listing photos done. And I'm going to leave the sale on in the shop for the another month. I mean, we've got a shelter in place until, <clears throat> until May 3rd, I think it is right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave. As long as we have a shelter in place, I'll leave my sale on in the shop. So everything's 25% off if people are looking for more things to play with. But I just, um, yeah, I float around a lot from, and I was dealing with a tooth issue, which, you know, the dentists aren't open. So I don't seem to be having a lot of pain, which is 
I'm super grateful for, and I'm on antibiotics for something else. So hopefully that took care of whatever the issue was. You know, but I alternate between wanting to be super, super busy and then wanting just to veg out and read. I mean, that's always been, all my life, that's been my escapism is to go read. Oh, reality crafting, yes. I need an assistant. I do. There are, you know what? If I could hire somebody just to make my Etsy listings, the Etsy photo and the listings, man. But you'd have to have somebody you really trusted to do that kind of stuff. But I swear I would do that. I, it would be worth it to me to pay to have somebody do that. But now I'm thinking about those machines. You guys have got me thinking about those machines. I'm kind of excited to explore if something would cut my fabric for me. I, I honestly hadn't really thought about that before. If you notice, I'm only doing three sides because I know that the spine side is going to be covered by fabric and trim, so I'm not going to worry about that. This is the equivalent of watching paint dry, right? Watching people ink things up. <laughs> Sorry, there's there's no fast way around that. Scanning cut wouldn't do anything for the, the inking part. Dream job, Lala. We might have to explore something. <laughs> I need a virtual assistant. I, it's just, it's hours to make the, the photos the right size for Etsy and, you know, get the um, watermarks on them and then, you know, create them, then download them, then upload them, then write the listing. But I'm proud of myself. I have doubled the numbers of items in my shop from the end of the year. So that was one of my goals. Now I'll just keep adding. We have not watched the Vikings yet. I can't believe that we haven't because we both enjoy that kind of stuff. But we've been watching. Um, oh, we watched. Uh, we watch a lot of New Zealand and Australian shows, and my husband can track them down. So we watched all the seasons of the old show Rush, which we we really liked. I'm missing the Good Karma Hospital and the Good Doctor. Really love those. We're all caught up on those. Last night, or not the good doctor, the heart doctor. The good doctor, the U.S. show, we watched the season finale of that last night. be interesting to see what shows come back when things settle down in the world. So many things are going to be different. Works for coffee, yeah. <laughs> All right, we can hire Victoria to work for coffee. I've been cutting down my coffee. I've been very good. I had my two cups of cinnamon tea, which is my morning thing. Hot cinnamon spice tea. So good. Uh, it's got the caffeine. It has no sugar, but it, it tastes like it's got sugar in it. And it's wonderful. And then I had one cup of coffee and just instant coffee. My husband doesn't drink coffee, or, but very rarely. So we don't even have a coffee pot anymore which seems unreal. Oh, here I said that about the third sides and I went ahead and did around all the sides. You guys didn't yell loud enough to stop me. Isn't it funny how just these little inking stuff that just it's makes such a difference. I'm not going to freak out about this little bit down here because I know that's going to be covered by the trim. Hey, Elaine. Happy to see you. Yeah, Liz, it's a pain. <laughs> and even though I have a system, I kind of, I have to be in a certain mind frame. So I was going to work on Digi's last night, and then I thought, no, if I'm going to do a live tomorrow, I need to be, you know, in crafting mode. So I'm thinking crafting mode today, and then when I'm done with the live and I'm drinking my throat coat tea to kind of recover from the talking, um, then I will start doing digis and then maybe I'll do digis for the next week. And I might just keep making these notebooks for a while in the live if these come out. If they don't come out, well, then we'll figure something else out. If I can find a big box or a way to protect my desk so I can do a paint box thing, I've got a lot of masterboard pages that I want to 
spray paint. I suppose I could just use regular paint. And I was also thinking I'd get out one week, I'd get out the jelly plates. I've got a bunch of ideas I want to play around with on that. So I could, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do the jelly plate next week. I've just got to clean off this desk. I can't really move the camera. So I need to move whatever I'm crafting on to the desk that the camera is hooked up on. What color is the ink? This is vintage photo. Yeah, this is vintage photo. I think it works really well with, I love it with these ferns. It looks good with the leaves. So I think this was a good choice. It just happened to be the one that was on my desk. I have a lot of other ink colors and I need to, you know, it was one of those impulse buys. I tell you, if you're a beginner, you're watching this and you're a beginner, don't go buy everything just because you see somebody on a video using it because that's what I did and that's why I have way too much stuff that's why I ended up with that collection of glues that was just an embarrassment of riches I mean it's wonderful to have but I don't use them all I have my favorites and I'm just so excited when I can get to the point where I'm not using them anymore I I threw out two jars of matte medium this week which feels awesome just in case part of this shows. Oh, this will show because this one's on top. Tombow. Oh. You know, I've been using the Tombow a little bit. I've been using it for, um, I'm making the faux glassine bags using both parchment paper and uh, tracing paper, that kind of stuff. And I've been using the Tombow on that. It works fine. I like that little tiny tip. The thing that bugs me is the Tombow tape runners. You know, I did use them a little bit last week to kind of stick down some uh, book text, but they keep not sticking. And I ended up cutting it off and just kind of like holding it down burnishing it pulling it off and oh what a pain I think it's not worth it I think it's just time to toss them they're probably old which is why the glue isn't all sticking together the way it should but I just I just need to let go and whenever I come across something that I'm not going to use anymore and I have a friend that's got a daycare and I can send it over to her I do that the other thing I have a bunch of okay this is just ridiculous and I should probably try it and see if it works for me but when I watched, um, probably it was Lindsay, the frugal crafter, was the first person I saw do it, where she was making her own sprays using uh, metallic eyeshadows. So I bought a bunch of those. I don't even wear makeup. I can't wear makeup of any kind. And I bought a bunch of those. They're sitting in my drawer. And, it's like, and I bought the spray bottles. I never made them. So I either need to make them or toss them. And that was what I was thinking. It was like if I make them and then I could spray them on these things that I've been uh, gluing down like crazy. Has anybody made their own sprays? I have a bunch of old acrylic paint too that I'm thinking if I make some sprays, I might use it up a little faster. Okay. We, now we need to sew. And even though it takes more thread, I love this stitch. I didn't realize it did a double stitch, but I really like that. So I think I'm going to use that stitch on everything. So that would be interesting because the sewing machine is higher. But see, aren't you happy? I got this all, I had this all prepped. Um, oh dear, is this sewing, is this, you guys are seeing everything right side up, right? But you, can you see this? Make the sprays on a live stream. Maybe so. Okay, this is weird because when I'm looking at the, um, oh, wait a minute. I think that's an option. Let me see. Ooh, hopefully I don't lose you guys, but let's see what happens. Oh, weird. It looks fine here. Okay. 
I'll, if, if it looks fine with you guys, I'm just going to leave it alone and pretend that I'm looking at everything just fine. Uh, I might want a little bit of glue stick, though. Okay, everything looks... Yeah, maybe I should try that on the stream. I can try that. Yeah, maybe I should try that on the stream. I can try that. All right, let's just do... Ah! This might be one of the glue sticks. It's yep, that's one of the glue sticks. It's dead and got put back in the drawer. I wasn't thinking. This glue stick feels heavy and I put back in the drawer. I wasn't thinking. Right. This glue stick feels heavy enough to work. glued down just because I know they slip slide while I'm sewing. So yeah, this was a really fun idea that Tracy Fox had a while ago covering up little notebooks and at the time, I couldn't find my stash, but as I'm using things up. Oh, did you guys answer in the chat? Did you answer, should I do the, the flow journals? Should I do them as journals or should I do them as flat kits? I might have missed anything of that. Yeah, it's a webcam, and then I'm going through Logic Capture because I've just been really lazy and have not taken the time to learn um, OBS or StreamYard or anything like that. As long as it looks fine to you guys, that's all that matters. Oh, I missed one here. I missed the bottom. And I missed the top on those. Wow, I don't know what I was thinking. Hey, Shelby. Okay, that's exactly what I was going to do. The Dollar Shore eyeshadow, water, and a little alcohol. Okay. Make them as a journal, you think, Liz? All right. And then maybe just an envelope with some extra ephemera in it. One of the things I did yesterday, I had a ton of um, greeting cards that people had sent me that uh, so that I could reuse them as... Um, journaling cards and so I cut them all you know cut all the raw edges and cut the writing off and I've got a bunch of those ready to go and I was thinking of just covering them with napkins or some such thing okay now that I said that about that hopefully that's not going to be showing so make them as flow journals not as just flat kits okay I can do that Trying to figure out how I could maybe put them together on a live. Maybe if I set up the tripod in the studio. All right. There's going to be, I'm going to lose some of that when I put the trim on. But it's okay. We're going to roll with it, right? Next batch that I do off camera, I can be a little pickier about. My husband's having an interesting meeting. I'm sure you can hear him. The wonderful microphone picks everything up. <laughs> Thank you, Patsy. I'm really, I love these, these prints. I'm really happy with them. Yeah, I have a small stash of alcohol just because I like to play with alcohol inks, but it won't last for long, that's for sure. Yeah, lots of things hard to find. Yeast has been hard to find, but I did find a place uh, that was still had it in stock and was shipping. So 
that order should be here today. So we will have lots of yeast for bread making, which is good to have. Crooked, ah, crooked. Let's make it closer to this edge. Yeah, he does have a contagious laugh. Hey, Jude. Happy to see you here. Oh, Elena's too bad. Um, a friend of mine, a writer friend of mine in the UK said that for her, she found that she was able to get uh, yeast, eggs, flour, any of that kind of stuff by contacting the rest supply chains because they were stuck with stuff that they couldn't, you know, get out to restaurants because the restaurants were closed. So I don't know if that's an option in your area of the UK, but um, she was thrilled. She was able, and because it was restaurant supplies, she got like, you know, three dozen eggs at a time and a huge thing of flour and baking powder and yeast. No worries, Jude. Just happy to have you here. Life is good. Yeah, he's got a laugh that just fills my heart every time I hear it. So I'm always in my happy things I do on Facebook every day. Often I will put his laugh because, you know, how can you not be happy when you hear a laugh like that? All right, this one's got a little bit more room to play with. Okay, this is actually... Okay, knock on wood, I hope I don't jinx myself, going better than I thought I would doing this all raw on camera. Oh, for those of you that came in later, this is what I'm working toward, is just covering little notebooks. Yeah, we can never have enough laughter. It's funny, there was a time in my life where I didn't have a lot of laughter and I didn't realize how important it was. Oh, what am I going to do on these? Am I going to sew it in two places? Hmm. I think I'm going to go back to just a regular stitch. No. Just leave it. We're just going to leave it. Or are we? What I'm trying to decide on these guys, okay, let's do the little ones first. These guys, I know I want to go around like that. Yeah. It is weird to sew with it at this high. this it just makes it look a little heftier with this double threading that it's doing on this stitch and I'm holding you guys to it you said you didn't mind the sound of the sewing machine things I want in my next sewing machine are hand controls and little leaves. Yeah. Let's see. I like it. All right. So we'll do two different kinds of stitching on these guys. We'll do this one and then maybe I'll do just a straight stitch on the other one. Try dry bar comedy on YouTube. Oh, good. The machine is not as loud as I think. Okay, probably because I'm just right here next to it, I'm sure. I never mind listening to somebody else, you know, so on a video, but I think it's probably kind of like when we had kids that were little 
you know, you go to a restaurant and your kid's the one that's crying. And so you feel like it's like the, the loudest cry that anybody's ever heard in a restaurant. And everybody else that's had kids understands, you know, you just can't control that sort of thing. It just happens. What I'm really glad about is to be able to use up some of these test prints. I am going to put some in the flow books, but I just have so many test prints that I've done messing around with the different kits. And I think I'm going to take some of the ones that I've done where they're like uh, even smaller than this and I'm just going to make a little journal. I'll like stitch them maybe to some um, copy stain paper. What are your favorite ways to cover the back of a digi print? Do you go run it through and you know that's usually what I'll do is run it through another time and do it on a copy dyed print, but sometimes that's not feasible. nice about gluing these things down you don't have to worry about since I know the ends are going to be covered by fabric I don't have to worry about knots I don't have to worry about what it looks like on the back side <laughs> the other day I sat here it was so soothing I filled like 50 buttons with my off-white thread that I use all the time I just it was like it felt great just to have the bobbin or not buttons I filled the bobbins and just to have them ready to go Hi, Victoria. Thanks for popping in. I'm stopping to catch up on chat. What model is my machine? I have a very inexpensive brother XM3700. We picked this up at Costco um, when I wasn't sure whether I was going to like to sew. I still had really nasty sewing memories from uh, home ec class. But I'm lusting for your machine, Liz, the one you told me about. But if I'm not finishing projects, I can't rationalize the expense of a new sewing machine and a scanning cut. So that's what I need to get myself at. Finishing. Thank you all for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So this thing's just got a few basic stitches, but it's okay. It was good enough for me to decide whether I wanted to do more sewing or not. All right, so I think I'm going to go back to just regular old straight stitch for these. And then I need to decide, hmm, I want to sew around it twice, I think. All right, Elaine, <laughs> go make something yummy. Let's see if I can get, yeah, Let's see what I think. I 
just do stitching around this center piece or do I want to stitch around the beige part too? So what do you guys think? Just stitch here or would you stitch around one more time? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat. You're a sweetheart. So what do you think? Should I stitch around here too or should I? Maybe I should just leave it because it's so close to the edge. I think I'll just leave it. That'll make it easier. Let me know if you think otherwise. Plus it'll go faster, right? So hard to do a straight line. Well, maybe we'll do, we've got the ferns, I've got two of each, so maybe I'll do one leaving it one way and one sewing around it again, and we'll see what we think. like those but let's see what what we think when we do we'll go all the way around these both times that one got a little wonky <laughs> oh well In the house, I probably have larger notebooks that use covering too. There's not going to be enough room to go all the way around on this one. Hmm, the ferns are going to have to be just one. So maybe on the mermaid. Okay, let's do it on the mermaid. We'll do one set that's got a double set of stitching. I'm going to come right to the edge. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Ah, too far to the edge. Let's see here. Because, man, it would stink to get this far and then ruin it. You may notice there has been no barking from Zoe today because my husband took her on a walk just before I went live. So she is properly zonked out now. Let's see. Ah! Should not have done that, huh? This one's going to be really close. Well, it will make it look like this has been stitched on the notebook, which is a neat effect. I like that, that idea. 
But I think on the other ferns, I'm just going to go around the one time in the center. All right, let's see. That one's done. So three more. It's going to be touch and go on the bobbin. We'll see what happens. I always have a hard time judging how close I am to the end of the page. Like that. I forgot what I was doing. Let's go back one. There we go. Two more. Thank you, Shelby. I'm I'm pretty happy with these prints. This is the fern ones I'm working on is the newest kit that's in the shop. And wait till you see the dragonflies. Oh my goodness. There guys, thanks for hanging with me through the sewing part. It's hard for me to talk while I'm sewing. I'm concentrating on not going off the edge of the paper. got here to play with. All right. These guys are going to go on here. We only need two of these. Scissors to cut off threads. Of course, I will save my threads. One of these days I will do something with all my threads. Yeah, I love, I just started playing around with something different on the dragonflies. And actually, there's probably going to be two dragonfly kits. The first one, I just need to finish the little one that the gals on my team asked for. And then, uh, then I started experimenting with doing something similar than I did with my ferns with the dragonflies. And I was just really pleased with the way they came out. All right, what do we want as the covers, the front ones? I like that one. And those two is front, so then these are backs. Now, I just realized I forgot to check. Huh. Oh, what did I do last time? I probably need to cut these down, huh? They're too... I made them a little too long. Let's see how much we can cut here. And shave off just a little, just so we don't have that bulk when it opens up. This so it's 
still going to be two. It is. All right, I will make a template before I do all the rest of these because that's going to be important to have, I think. Since I have such a big basket of them to do. All right, back, front. Uh, what do I have at the ready? I have Fabri-Tac. get the edges that I've been cutting at. Gluing is another one of those things that you think, oh, it's no big deal to glue until you're gluing on camera. And then you're like, oh, no, I forgot how to glue. Oh, make sure that I got all my edges covered. There we go. Already looks better, right? <laughs> yeah, I really still want to get a sewing machine that does if nothing else, some leaves. If it does leaves and a little flowers, that's fine. But I would really like to have some leaves that I could stitch in certain places. All right. Now, yeah, it's good that I cut that down so that, see, I had too much overlap. Still a little bit there. Harder to cut it down when it's on the thing. Yeah. All right. And then it's going to need uh -oh. somewhere in here. I've got some stuff. So when Tracy did hers, she did little something's on the front, but I just don't know that I'm going to do that. So my eco print fabric. I like that. Now the one I did originally is wider than I want. So let's make it, make it half. It's still pretty wide. Let's see if we cut just a real thin strip. Can I cut it into thirds? Cut it into thirds. Is that going to be too narrow? No, I think that's going to be good. I'm actually, going to see if I can tear it, but I don't know. Sometimes once the material has gone through the eco print process, it, ah, it doesn't tear as well, but it, this one did. All right, then we want something just a little bit bigger. The reason I like to do two layers is then I don't have to worry as much about the glue seeping through. I can kind of hide it a little bit, but that might still be too wide. We'll see. Ah, of course. Oh, it's harder to tear some of these. <laughs> that width that's definitely smaller you can shred it some so is anybody else working I know several people said they were looking for mojo anybody else working on any projects Shelby what are you doing
thing I didn't think about is if I want to do <clears throat> if I want to do a charm. Now I think this batch I'm not going to I can't think that through on camera. All right, let's just straighten out the bottom here. And Oh, that was perfect, just about where that design is. Go this way. Make sure I get those ends of the sewing part. Oh, it slid down a little bit there at the top. Oh well. Going to have to let it go. By that time, the Fabri Tac has dried, so it is what it is, right? Just a little bit. I'll add some more, but I just want to get it on there first. Just just enough to hold it. It's not going to be a real big stress point there, I don't think. A little bummed that I let that slip there, but oh well. Not anything I can do about it after the fact. I'm catching up on chat here, guys. Lorna, yeah, I know what you're doing. Liz is setting up for her live stream. Oh, but Terry, you're working on your other stuff. That's good. Lala, you are a sweetheart. Thank you. I appreciate that. Woo! Ooh, I didn't pay attention to the glob of glue there. Thank goodness Fabri-Tac peels right off. Let's just do this and get the lid on. There, what do you think? It could, it could have more, but I don't think it needs anything else. I think for a little something that's going to go in the mail, and I'm happier with the thinner binding on these. What do you think? So I could go ahead and put, you know, if I wanted to, I could do that on the inside as well. I could make a pocket or something in there, but I knew on camera this was going to be, this was going to be about as good as it got. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. I like them. They'll be cute little things to tuck into an order or something. What did we decide was the front? This one? Yeah, I think that one's the front. All right, so these guys are going to have to be cut down some. All right, we can make it even more. we go all the way to the sewing on this. This side also. So yeah, when I do these templates, I'm going to make them just a little bit smaller. Then I should be able to zip through these pretty quickly now that I've done them here with you guys. All right. Uh, front, front. Do 
get my little get the thread in there. There we go. Yeah, my home ec teacher, she didn't encourage me at all. Neither did my art teacher. So it took me a while to just say to heck with them, but I did finally get to that point. All right, let's not, not let this one slip if I can help it. Covered the edges there, there, there. That looks good. So an hour and a half. So I figure it'll take me the full two hours and that'll get me five that I have not done before. So that means that should go a lot faster to finish the rest of them. That's good. All right, let's line this guy up here. No slipping there. There we go. All right, now we like the two pieces, right? Yeah, not just one, two or one pieces of fabric. What do you guys think? And a plus an ironing. <laughs> Oh, Lala, that sounds so frustrating. Um, let's see, I was going to cut this one in half, right? Is that what I did? Shoot. I forgot what I did. Yeah, it needs to be less. Or maybe this was the one I was working with. Yeah, let's cut it in half. Two. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought too, even though it's fiddly. But I just grabbed, I didn't have, I don't have all my stuff here. I've got obviously lots of fabric to choose from. Oh, I didn't even started that there, huh? And I, uh, I just grabbed what was handy in the studio. All right, here's that one. I'll put the less pretty one underneath. All right, how wide did we do that? Oh, we cut that one in half. Is that going to be? No, it needs to be just a little bit more. I'm mumbling to myself. My voice gets softer. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, thanks, Lala. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and be good and stick to my Wednesdays. I might try and get on a few more times, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm actually kind of encouraged by how well doing this without a plan has done live. I didn't think it would go as well as it had, so I might be encouraged to keep going in this direction. All right, here. Cut off just a little there. And I'm anxious to see what the ferns look like. I should probably have a different color for the mermaid. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. We will see when we get there. Didn't even iron anything. It was just like, boom, that's it. I'm going to grab what was handy and call it a D for done. Which I always find good, you know, if I limit myself. I did the same thing with writing, which I'm sure I've said before. I mean, the constraints force us to really stretch ourselves creatively. And that's a good thing. Oh, that one doesn't really even need any more. Just maybe on the front. 
Just a little. There. All right. Two more of these guys done. And of course, you know, you could do a little tie around them. It's kind of cute. Darn, now I gotta do that because I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that gonna be enough if I cut that in half? It will be. We can make this enough. Ah, oh, Liz, thank you. <laughs> I do. Story of my life. Um, you know, it's it's that Sally Field moment. You like me, you like me, you really like me. made it a little longer but I like that I could just cut that in half and have that on both of them I like it and of course the other thing you could do is if you're doing an inside cover you could just put your little ties glue your ties inside the cover there but I'm just going to do this All right, so we have two of those. Let's see what we can do with the ferns. Which ones do we want? I haven't done this notebook before, so this will be different. Uh, front and back. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Have you found a place yet, Lala? I probably should have pulled that through and tied a knot there, but oh well. We will count on the glue to hold things down. There we go. All right. Today I'm going to sit down with my tea after this and <clears throat> try and get caught up on all my comments. So I made a uh, couple little make-aheads, really short ones, one on doing the paper ruffles, and somebody said, you know, those aren't really ruffles, they're pleats. But I see everybody calling them ruffles, right? I don't see them calling them paper pleats. They're calling them paper ruffles. And maybe it's just me. No, I'm not even getting all the threads through for the knot. <laughs> fiddly, fiddly. Oh, well, that'll be glued down. You're not going to see that. You're not going to see that part. All right. Is this going to work the same way, I hope? I line these guys up and looks like I cut them a little better and then well I guess we'll see we'll glue it down first and this one doesn't have a good knot so let's make sure we get some glue there Yeah, I always thought they were ruffles. Dancing Mooney, hello, welcome. Haven't seen you here in the chat before. If you're a first time here, happy to have you here. Hope you're having a good day. I am just covering some little notebooks. Yeah, I think I might want to cut that down just a little on the back too. It's going to be the same issue as the other one when we get the fabric over it. So hard to do. Wow, that looks so much better. Okay. And then 
This side needs to be cut to just a little. Those threads are kind of long. They might just sneak out under the edge. <clears throat> wow, I think this is the first time in a while you guys are actually seeing me finish something on camera. Normally I'm like in the prepping stages and not actually finishing. So I'm glad I decided to come on and do this after all. Side up and slide it into place. run out of ooh eco print fabric no we definitely want to make sure we have enough of that might not be able to do that on all of them oh what do we got cheese cloth is not nearly as exciting but it might work all right we can do one of these If we do it there, just a little bit of an overlap, not a lot. I've got more of this eco print fabric. I just don't remember where I have it in the studio, so I won't be able to grab it quickly. I might have to finish that last little bit without you guys. Oh, that's a good way of thinking of it, Jude. Yeah, you pull the thread to make the ruffle. You're right. Oh, dang it. This fabric does not want to tear. All right. All right. We'll get there. We will get there. So if we use this as the top and this is the top to cut. Yeah, I should have done something a little smaller on the ferns because you're gonna lose some of the, the fern color but or the picture, but we will deal, right? We will deal. Yeah, I'd rather have finished projects sitting on my shelf rather than all these envelope or these notebooks that I bought who knows how long ago for, I think I was gonna do something like this to give them out at a retreat I was going to and that would have been a couple years ago. And then I just didn't get them done ahead of time. Just a little, little extra. Plus, it'll cover that stitching. Make sure that's not going to go anywhere. And the 
wants a little more glue. Well, this is kind of making me want to go do some eco printing, that's for sure. Which would be a good thing because I have a bunch of leaves in the freezer and we could use the room in the freezer right now. So many choices for journals, yes. Well, this one's being stubborn. And down here too, dang. So, I'm sorry, it bummed it, kind of cuts off so much more of the fern. Maybe what I'll do on the next one on the ferns is I'll just do a single with just a little flaps at the top, see if I can not cover as much of it. <clears throat> or we could do the mermaid. Let's see. All right, this one we're going to pull back. Pull under at least. In a unicorn suit. Yeah, my leaves are in the freezer. Hi, Tracy. Um, when I do my eco printing, you know, I, I use a lot of leaves and I collect leaves from various places at friends' houses, at my in laws on my walks and I can't ever do them all at one time because it really doesn't take that many to do a batch of prints. And what I discovered was, you know, I was doing like 50 pages at a time and it was just too hard on my back. So uh, I freeze them and then I take them out when I'm getting ready to do the prints. But I had a whole bunch frozen from last year that I haven't used up yet. And, you know, now it's spring and leaves are available. And so I need to, get them out of the freezer and use them up. All right, these guys I can just go ahead and cut. I suppose if I'd have been thinking, I could have grabbed my blue ink to do the mermaid, but I have lots more mermaid pages. I can do that again. All right, there's one ready. Oh, butterfly wings would be cute. Mostly here we just see people out walking with their dogs. Oh, come on, come through the other side. Sorry, I keep forgetting to talk. I guess maybe that's another reason why I, I do like simple things like gluing because I can glue and talk at the same time, but evidently doing some of this other stuff and talking at the same times, I just forget. Maybe that's why people do voiceovers. You can film the whole project. I might try that. I mean, sometimes I don't think voiceovers are as much fun, but I might make more videos because I could do a video at any time of day. It wouldn't matter if um, there was noise going on because then I could do the voiceover when things were quiet. Hmm. I might experiment with that. And then you can, it's much easier to think of things to, to say about what you're working on when you're doing it with a voiceover. And you can speed it up if you need to. It would also work if I was sewing a bunch of covers, which is what I'm going to do. All right, which one's the front? I think this one's the front. This one's the back. Okay. So let's cut this down. Check in my chat here. Hey, Maria. Yeah, well, for a live, obviously, the chatting is what makes it a whole lot more fun. But I was just thinking about how I might be able to make more videos um, 
when I don't have to worry as much about what kind of meetings my husband has going on. Some of his meetings, he's got to be real vocal, you know, and with our house being so small, we just can't help what voices carry. So hopefully I didn't cut off too much, but I think that might make it a little easier. I think that's the one I want on the front. Oh, I've got um, I've got an old video on eco dyeing. I'm gonna do some new tutorials, some simple tutorials. Uh, as soon as it gets a little warmer, right now the wind is blowing pretty bad, and if I was out there with it, my papers would be blowing all over the place, and that would just be really frustrating. So probably next month before I really dive into doing a lot of it, because I tend to let mine dry out on the deck. But uh, I'm kind of addicted to doing the eco prints. If you weren't here earlier, I was showing some of these prints that I'm using. These are all, well, these aren't eco prints. These are actually, the ferns are digital prints, but the ferns are super, super imposed over uh, some of my eco prints. All right, let's get this guy lined up. The edges. <clears throat> I have been forgetting to drink my water. That edge isn't going to show. The edge that I cut isn't going to show because it's going to put the fabric over it. So. I just cut it shorter so then I don't have to worry when it opens. Oh, except that side will. No, it won't. That one won't show either. I'm okay. I thought I knew what I was doing. Ooh, it does look kind of crooked, but we're going to let it go. The fabric will cover a lot. Thing about eco printing is you gotta you gotta be patient <laughs> and I guess that's mostly it. Be patient. No, nope, it is gonna show. You're right. You were right, Liz. You were right. Yeah, we'll we'll be doing some inking while it's on there. <laughs> You were so right, because otherwise if I'd have done it the other way, she would have been upside down. Oh, well, we can we can do it. We can fix it. We have the technology. But thank you for that reminder. Didn't matter on one side, did matter on the other. Oh, thank you on the images. I appreciate that. Let's see if I can show you guys a few of the others. Well, this was one of my eco prints over some writing. Um, am I going to put these little things in my shop? I guess I could. <laughs> I have no idea what I would sell them for. Maybe I should do them in batches of like, if I make up several of them, I could do like a, a little one and a big one, sell them in batches or sell them individual. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to list them. I can certainly list them. I'll do up some more. Maybe we'll do cheesecloth as the under thing on this because it's the mermaid and she's kind of ethereal, right? I need some sharper scissors. Yeah, the, the, when I first started doing eco printing, I would say I was my, my biggest problem was not being patient. These are still not my good scissors. And then also, you know, eco printing is a contact print, so you have to make sure that you've got really strong contact between your leaves and the paper, which is why you see people um, weighing them down with bricks, wrapping the things with wire. And then I let mine sit for a couple days 
which is where the patient's part comes in. That's hard, but I do let them sit. Uh, cutting cheesecloth that hasn't been ironed, that's such a pain. It doesn't tear. And there is not trying to push people to buy, but I, I am going to leave the sale on in my shop probably through, at least through April. Had it on for most of March. We'll just go ahead and let it ride. So the mermaids I'm working on now, these are from my mermaid kit. And I have not made the big mermaid journal yet. I figured I could at least use some of this stuff up. And then, shoot. And then I guess I don't have any more eco print fabric with me. And now, oh, ooh. All right. I forgot I pulled this. Oh, this is my rusted fabric. Maybe I don't want the cheesecloth. Or. A little bit of cheesecloth and the rest fabric underneath that. What do you think? What do you think? If I did that with something over the top, I don't know if that's the right color. Hmm. Maybe not quite as much of the rust part. Maybe we need the center part. Yeah, I, I love this rusted. And this was just an old sheet that I had uh, wrapped in rusty bits. I like this a lot. And I'm thinking maybe it'll just have the one thing. Maybe it doesn't need multiple enough to cover what needs to be covered. Let's shred it a little more. Is that gonna be? Yeah. Get the shredding started. Hard to shred once it's been rusted. It's sort of glues the fibers together. Now I wish I'd put some of the rusted on the eco print ones, but I'll make some more. I've got, what do I have there? Probably about 30 of these little notebooks. So if I put these in the shop, should I do them individually or should I do them in pairs or sets of three? What do you think? I'm thinning this out, spreading this out a little bit because I'm hoping it won't come through the fabric. That looks like that's going to be good, not show. That's good. Catching up on chat here. <laughs> yeah, I grab the leaves now. Yeah, and I just I stick them in, in the freezer and just let them come to room temperature before I start laying them down on things. Print. All right. Just a little bit more glue there. Maybe should have done a solid underneath this. But it's okay. It is all okay, right? We're going to be okay with everything today. Just making progress on projects is a big okay. All right, so we have this. Eco print. We have the ferns. Where are we at here? We're just at about two hours. 
Okay, Lala, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. You take care. Have a good day. What have I got left? I've got one more fern left. Okay, let's see. We can we can whip out one more fern, right? One more. Yeah. It's actually helpful for me to see how long it takes me to make these. Now the trick for me is going to be using stuff that's already printed and not getting crazy and going in there and printing out new things. But because I have plenty, I need to do some organizing. Story of my life, right? Clean up some of my messes before I make some more messes. But I literally, before going live today, just took one of my big old white tubs and scooted everything off my desk into the tub. And it's like, okay, I'll look at that after the live. <laughs> through there one more come on always one gonna be a little stubborn I have a bunch of um, alcohol ink prints too that I can cut up for these binding these uh, to cover the spines I think would be really pretty they've got some really neat colors in them so I think I'll be working on these the rest of today all right this one's going to be the front, and this one's going to be the back. So these two edges can be cut just a little more. Use the crummy scissors. Cannot cut a straight line at all. <laughs> oh, this one looks like it needs some ink too. I must have been thinking I was going to put that on the other side. Uh, okay, that's a front. That's the front, so those three sides are inked. This one. Oh, thank you, Jude. That's very kind of you to say. I really need to do more of it. I would kind of like that to be one of the things I get known for, if I can say that. I enjoy it. It's hard on my back because there's a lot of standing and my back complains, but I do love it. Yeah, and I'm really, I had totally forgotten about that rusted fabric, so I'm excited. That's going to look good on the ferns. All right, is it cut off enough there? Am I backwards again? I am, I'm backwards again if that's the front. What have I done, guys? Front. That's okay there. Okay, we're just gonna make we're just gonna go for it. Just call it done. Spend too much time thinking about it. Sorry if I miss things in chat. You can always um, leave me a note in the comments. I try to get to all the questions in the comments, even if I don't respond to all the comments in a timely manner, I try to at least get to all the questions right away. <laughs> Thanks, Lorna. Yeah, I did this completely backwards again. Unless I put it up. So now it doesn't look right upside down. Wow. Fail. That was a big fail. And the wrong scissors. Let's cut this a little more. 
You know, when I don't have the camera on, I'm going to zip through this so fast. All right. Although five little notebooks from start to finish in two hours, that's not bad, right? Time-wise, I'm horrible about keeping track of my time to like charge prices accordingly. I know I need to be better about it, but Ooh, I can hear our hawk crying outside. Okay, a little crooked at the edges, but if we overhang it, you're not going to see it nearly as much. Thank you, Jude. <laughs> yeah, charge for your time. I know, Lorna, it's a joke, right? It's a joke. Like the funny kind, only very different. All right. Which, whoops, sorry, just monked the camera there. Didn't mean to do that. All right, so we take a piece of this and that's not long enough. Piece of this. Yeah, writers and artists, musicians, none of the, the arts really get paid what their time is worth. We got to do it for love. Now, is that going to be too wide? It's a little too wide for me. Oh, it's not that you should be afraid to, but it sometimes it's just hard to. It is hard to charge accordingly. Dang, it is going to overlap a lot. Mm, make it smaller. Make it smaller. Uh, let's see. If we... Do this... Oh, this is so not going to be straight. We'll put the crooked part on the back, right? <laughs> How'd I do? Could be worse. Okay, so it's kind of bad. I know you're right, Liz. I know you are. And I will say that at times when I've had to raise my prices, like when doing custom orders, doing multiple orders for somebody, and I've had to raise my prices after realizing that something was a lot more labor intensive, they've been very understanding. But internally, it's hard for me because I'm sure I'm not the only artist who struggles with, you know, the self-worth thing. I'm just making this one worse, aren't I, just by the more I cut I know this is one of those times. See, I could make a scanning cut would do this for me too, right? Or a Cricut where I could have a template for all my little spines. Am I talking myself into the machine yet? I think I am. All right. Let's spray this a little. Bye, Terry. Take care. You have a good week. All right, Liz, I think we're going to have to have a talk after both of us are done doing lives and think about what's the best machine for me to be aspiring toward. 
still not sure I quite understand why one would be better than the other. side there. Just a little more blue at the ends, plus that holds that stitching, which is always nice. Ah. Well, I have to say, doing these on camera has worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to today. So I'm happy for that. I'm happy now I have a plan that I can work on these some more during the week. And yeah, get some inventory milled up and into the shop. I like that idea. All right, well, this is what we did today. I've got two with the eco prints, I've got two ferns. And a mermaid. Definitely a step up from the way the journal, way the little notebook started. Scan and cut. Okay. All right, Liz, I'll have to go check it out. Well, that is it. And I did that in just about two hours for five notebooks. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to go through my stash of notebooks. I mean, look it. There's a lot of these babies to cover. So I'll be doing this for a while. But help you guys help me figure out what direction to go with them. I appreciate that. I'm really happy with them. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get a bunch of them done and then figure out how to, how to group them and put them in the shop. I appreciate the suggestion on that. So I'm going to go off and have some tea to reward my throat for holding up through all of this. I just have a hard time talking for any length of time. And I hope all of you have a wonderful week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, if you're going outside in your little unicorn suits, still disinfect your unicorn when you come back in the house. And I will see you next time, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. And have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye for now.